Uh, well, hello, India. How are you? Everybody seems to be enjoying the famous Indians living in America. And we are going to look at a, a dude this time. I did three women. Now we're going to look at a dude. And this dude is the dude of dudes. He is probably the most important Indian uh, in American history. Um, because any American living here who was a citizen owes it to this man in what he endured and what he did. His name is Bhagat Singh Tin. He is uh, he was born on October 3rd, 1892 and was an American Indian Sikh writer, scientist, lecturer and uh, kind of lectured on spirituality and whatnot. He served in the U.S. Army during World War I and was involved in an important legal battle over the rights to Indians to obtain U.S. citizenship. Tin had enlisted in the Army a few months before World War I, and after the war he sought the right to become a naturalized citizen following a ruling that Caucasians had access to such rights, but if you were of African-American descent, you did not, and America was very stupid back then and said, well, he's got dark skin he has to be of Africa um, uh, they were called Hindus h-i-n-d-o-o-s even though if it didn't matter if you were Muslim Sikh or whatnot they kind of just called you Hindus anyways um, he's he sought the right um, and was involved in a case that made it all the way to the Supreme Court and it was the United States versus Bhagat Singh Tind and was decided in favor of the United States retroactively denying any and all Indian American born citizens abroad for not being a white person in accordance with the understanding that of a common man and um, he went on to earn his uh, his PhD in theology and in English from Berkeley and delivered lectures on metaphysics uh, he kind of combined metaphysics Hinduism and Sikh to come up with a philosophy that drew the attention of Emerson, Whitman, and Henry David Thoreau. And Henry David Thoreau is one of my favorite author, authors. And he campaigned actively in the independence of India from the British Empire. Then, in 1936, Tin appealed and received U.S. citizenship through uh, the state of New York. However, that was going to be taken away. That's ruled again in the courts that it, he could not do it. He fights for citizenship three times before he gets it. And, um, and this is an amazing thing to, to see what he did. Um, he, he continued in his studies. He continued in teaching on metaphysics. He be, continued to teach the ideas of the gurus. He began to introduce yoga into America as part of a of of a metaphysical kind of um, oh um, what do you want to call it? Uh, I wouldn't say it was religious. It was more of uh, a philosophy, like martial arts or whatnot. He began to teach this. Um, he got involved with, kind of involved with the Gadar Party, and. Um, um, so he applied for citizenship on his third time to Oregon and a judge was concerned about the Skater Party because they were calling um, for the removal of the British from India but by any means necessary very much like Bhagat Singh at the time would take up in the days of Gandhi and he said he began to write a lot from Hindu philosophy and saying it really needs to be done through civil disobedience and nonviolence in what this is kind of a big deal. Gandhi picks up on his writings and uses it for the base of his of his philosophy. Um, he's in and out of court. It's amazingly about the um, the uh, the fight through the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals um, to fight for citizenship. In his his arguments. Um, were kind of kind of brought two ways. Number one, these are the two following questions that the Supreme Court had: Is a high caste Hindu of full Indian blood born in Punjab, India, a white person, with the meaning of Section Two One Six Nine the Revised Statutes? Does the Act of February Fifth, Nineteen Seventeen, disqualify from naturalization as a citizen those Hindus who? barred by that act who lawfully entered the United States prior to the passage of said act. 
And this is just an amazing thing to think like, you know, you know, the Supreme Court was like, you're born in Punjab, you're Indian, you're a Hindu in the caste system. How are you a white person? Please explain. Like, <laughs> just so, so ridiculous. He, he eventually, because of his work, obtain, can, obtains the right to citizenship and um, um, it is because of that, it is because of that, that all other Indians now um, can, can gain citizenship. And it's one of the few times that Supreme Court reverses itself. The Supreme Court has reversed itself several times. There's a misconception that once the, um, the Supreme Court rules on something, it's law. That's not true. It can be the, it can be reversed by Congress and whatnot. And he, he did some writings here. He, uh, he wrote A Radiant Road to Reality, Science of Union with God, The Pearl of the Greatest Price, which is a, a play on a Christian writing called The Pearl of Great Price, House of Happiness, Jesus the Christ, The Light of Spiritual Science, Volumes 1, 2, and 3, The Enlightened Life, Tested Universal Science of Individual Meditation in the Sikh Religion, Divine Wisdom, um, Volumes 1, 2, and 3, um, and then after he died, some of his, his writings were produced, and it was a troubled mind in a torturing world with their conquest. He, um, he married, I believe he married a, a white woman and had a son named David, uh, which had to be back then just something completely, completely crazy, like, um, uh, you know, as far as American racism. Um, he, was, he was involved in uh, civil rights, uh, he worked with the Global Fund of Children. He uh, worked again with the Gundar Party. He worked with the uh, the the Human Rights Organization Breakthrough. He worked with social activists. Um, he worked with um, the George Foundation. All these different amazing amazing things that he did uh, that out of his work came. Um, I'm just amazing things. This dude truly, truly invested in um, in what it meant to be an American, right? He invested into that and he fought for that. And I think you know we got to take the hat off. We got to give him a Jay Hin because of him, he cleared the way uh, for Indians to become citizens. Without him, it, it's not happening, which is it, which is just a sad, sad state. But this is uh, well done, sir. Well done. A true Indian and American hero who happens to be a Sikh.